Hey guys, it's Kat and I am back today to talk about some interesting lip products. Yes, even though I have a big collection of lip products, I bought two more because these were far too intriguing and I wanted to demonstrate them on camera and I also wanted to do a review and wear test. So if you're just here for the demonstration and see if these things actually work, I'll talk about that first and then I'll get on to a longer review. So what I'm talking about are these uh, products here from Ciate London. These are heat activated liquid lipsticks. So I believe these are limited edition. So I did want to get onto it fairly quickly because I don't think they're going to be around forever. It's in a collaboration that they launched recently with Christine Quinn. If you don't know who that is, you're not alone. I had to Google it. She's on some property reality TV show thing, whatever. Um, but the interesting thing about these uh, is that they're heat activated. So there's two shades available, a red and a nude. And um, when they're warm, they're sort of lighter or brighter. And when they're cold, they're darker. So I thought that was fascinating. I don't have anything like this in my collection. So I really wanted to try it out. So the name of these are Heat Flip Lip Creams. And uh, they're supposed to be comfortable, long wearing, soft matte lip creams infused with nourishing actives. So the two shades available, there's a classic nude called Drama Queen and a brooding Bordeaux red called Cash Fetish. These are vegan, gluten free, cruelty free. And uh, the direction is that you apply one coat, let it dry for one minute, and then watch the color transform at different temperatures. Now you can buy these on the Ciate website as I'm filming this, these are currently on sale, um, but I bought mine in Australia at Mecca. They're online exclusive at Mecca and I think they're $27 each. But I'll link a few places down below if you're interested. Uh, Ciate also have a UV reactive lip gloss um, that came out a few months ago and I believe they're permanent whereas I think these are limited edition so they're lip glosses that when you're out in the sun they change color and when you're in the shade they go a different color um, so similar kind of concept but this is a matte liquid lipstick and it's temperature change not UV change but I do like seeing them play around with um, different color changing sort of technology. I just think it's fascinating. All right, so I've just waited for these to dry, which did take a couple of minutes, but there were thick parts, so it is what it is. It's currently quite warm today, so most of what you see is the warm color. I think a little bit of the thick part, I don't know if that's just layered product or if it's a little bit cooler, I'm not too sure, but because this is the warm color, I have got a frozen vodka bottle because apparently, we're a household that doesn't use ice. So I'll just lay that on. So I'm trying to cover half the swatch so you can see the color. And I'll just leave it for a second for it to cool down a bit because my hands are quite warm. But there we go. So the color changed. But now I'll get my cup of hot water and try to even it out so we can do half half if that's possible. All right, so there we go. That's the warm color here and the cool color there. So you can definitely see it's like a cherry red to a wine red, which is, they're both beautiful colors. And again, more of a pinky peachy nude to more of a grayish nude. Again, both beautiful colors. I love them all, which is also one of the reasons I wanted to buy them both because they're definitely shades that I enjoy using. So I'm going to now lip swatch them, show you the colors on the lips and do a wear test and review. All right, nude one first. I'll do the wear test on the red one. Um, this does have a nice sort of squidged doe foot applicator. So it does uh, hold quite a nice amount of product and it smooths on quite easily. So there we go. My lips a bit better. It's a great color. So that's the warm color there. And as the lip product is drying, I'll just explain what the formula feels like because I have done a wear test on this one a couple of days ago and the red one yesterday. So I'm familiar with them. Uh, they apply nice and thinly. The nude one does have some white pigment to it. So it is actually quite opaque um, in a thin layer. Uh, as it does dry, it feels a little bit thicker. So it starts to dry and feel, so it doesn't feel sort of gluggy and thick on the lips, but it does feel thicker than what you'd expect when you first apply it. So the lips end up looking matte, as you can see, um, but they're not powdery, really dry matte. There's a little bit of a grip to the lips. So if you go like this, you can see they sort of grip and that's because it's got sort of moisturizing properties to it. But what it means is that the formula does also grip to the lips and stay on the lips fairly well, um, but also it leaves a little bit of moisture so it doesn't feel super dry throughout the day. So that's the warm color. 
and that's a cool color. So you can definitely see it has deepened and it's a cooler tone. And that's half half. So it definitely works. All right, now on to the red shade, which is the Cash Fetish shade. Now, when you do take this out, it looks dark. So in the tube, it's clearly cooler. But as you see, as it hits my lips, it's going to look more bright cherry. And this is a lot thinner in um, like opacity. So it doesn't have that white base that makes it look opaque straight away. This can apply a little bit streaky, I've noticed. So the pigmentation isn't super, super opaque. It's nice and even and quite bold. But if you do press your lips together too much as you're sort of applying it, it can move it around and make sort of some patchiness. So I would say put a thin layer on and just sort of let it dry before you press your lips together. Because as I explained before, um, when it does dry, it feels a little bit thicker. So you don't want to apply too much because it would feel a little bit cakey on the lips. But this is the sort of cherry red warm color. It's gorgeous. I love it. Dries really quickly as well when you apply a nice thin layer. All right, now for the cold color with my vodka bottle. That's a beautiful color. Look how cool that looks. It's a beautiful wine red. You can see, look, inner portions though are like, my face is still warm, so it's starting to turn back pretty quickly. But I love both these colors. The bright one's a beautiful, fun, vibrant red, and this one is a really beautiful, rich wine red, which I love. I think it's really gorgeous. And there's half, half. So both of them, I love them both. All right, so if you wanted to know if these work, they absolutely do. Um, but the next part is going to be a wear test and I'm gonna check back in with my review and conclusion of what I think about these just in general as a lip product. All right, lip product check-in time. Um, I've been wearing this for about four and a half to five-ish hours. Uh, this is just before dinner. So um, I have eaten since applying it, but I've been just like snacking, nothing oily or substantial. So it has worn pretty well um, in the time that I've been wearing it. And it sort of just fades off quite subtly on the inner part. <laughs> So I was interrupted before by this kid. So essentially, look, it's wearing well, it feels nice. Um, I think a thin layer is definitely the best way to go. Yesterday I wore this a bit thicker and it felt a little bit chunkier at this time, but I did want to show it to you before I have dinner. All right, last check-in and this is around nine hours-ish wear um, of the lip product. And I think this is looking pretty good, especially since I had pesto pasta for dinner, which is notoriously oily um, and I still have some oiliness on my lips. I can feel the oil has sort of worked in with the lip product. The lip product is no longer budge proof. I forgot to say that before. It was actually budge proof. So even though it had that stick um, and that moisture to it, it didn't transfer on things that I was sort of um, drinking or touching or whatever. I could kiss my kid and it wouldn't transfer. So I reckon if you gave, you know, someone a big smooch, it would transfer a bit, but it was pretty good at staying on the lips. So there's that. But now that it's worked in with the oils, um, this is a little bit more smeary, which is fine. One thing I do like about this is that it's, it's fading down evenly. Now, if you watched my Project Apocalypse series where I'm testing out my whole lip collection, um, and I check in every month and let you know what I'm keeping and what I'm getting rid of, you'll know that I really hate lip products that fade down patchy. So you like to have that rim of color and then the inside is completely gone or just like way off chunky. I really like a lip product that fades down evenly and that's what this has done. And this gives me a lot more confidence to wear this time and time again because even though, you know, it's not as opaque and bold as it once was, um, it still looks like a blotted sort of cherry red lip, which I like. So after a couple of meals and nine hours wear, I'm really happy with how this is wearing. I do have to say though, that I think the key with this is to apply a thin layer um, because when I did wear this yesterday, um, I applied a thicker layer to get more of an opaque 
um, effect on the lips and I found that it was a little bit heavy and felt a little bit chunky um, as it was wearing down. So I feel like the thin layer really um, helps these lip products uh, last a long time and look flattering. So I like the liquid lipstick formula overall, but the real question is, what do I think about the color transforming element? Like, is it a gimmick or is it something that's, ac that's actually quite functional? And I actually think it's both. What I like the most about these is the colors that they've chosen. So each shade um, and its color varieties are really flattering colors. Like you don't get a nice nude that turns into a garish pink. You get some really nice flattering reds and really nice flattering nudes. So I, I would wear all four shades all year round. So I love the shades they chose, but I also really like the fact that in warmer weather, you get the bright red lip, you get the lighter sort of peachier pinky nude, um, which sort of is the shades that I would reach for in the warmer weather anyway. And then in the cooler weather, you get the nice um, wine toned red and the more grayish toned nude, which again are the sort of shades that I reach for in cooler weather. So I feel like these work really well year round. And I think you could potentially get one red and use it all year round and get two effects from it, which I think is a really cool concept. Where I think this is a bit of a gimmick is just how it sort of um, transforms occasionally throughout the day. If you go out in summer and you have a cold icy drink, you're gonna get like patchy color on your lips and it looks weird. Same as if you're going to, you know, go out and have like a hot coffee in winter, the dark shade is gonna have light patches and it's just gonna look weird. Now that incidental color change doesn't last that long. So as soon as, you know, your lips warm back up or cool back down, um, the color will even out. So it only really lasts for a minute, but it's kind of weird. So those moments where you're sipping on something and it just changes the color of part of your lips, um, I feel like that is the unflattering sort of gimmicky part of this. But I think the concept of having a lip product that changes color with the season is a really cool concept. So yeah, I don't think this would be everyone's cup of tea and it's not gonna replace everyone's lip products um, because those moments of like awkwardness um, will stop you from using them in certain situations. But I, I like the concept still and I think the colors they've chosen are really, really great and the formula is really nice as well. So um, I will continue to happily use them and I'm glad I picked them up. But yeah, let me know what you think of the concept of these. Um, would you wear them? So thank you so much for watching. If you do want to find out where you can get these, I will list a few places in the description box and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.